What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I Am Music Mogul, and welcome to 2010. Happy New Year. I know the past month I wasn't posting many videos, but uh, I was just a little busy. Now I do have a little bit more time, so I'll be posting more videos that, so you can learn logic, get back to learning logic again. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you about how to make your logic, logic sessions look a bit more pretty and a bit more colorful. A lot of people, and I mean many people, have been emailing me asking, how do you get your sessions to look so pretty and so colorful? And Basically, they want theirs to look like that too. Well, I'm going to show you how to turn your logic session into something more good looking from this uh, basic green stock that uh, logic always goes to and that's the default color that logic records to so I'm going to show you how to make your logic session look more pretty let's do this all right so let's give logic a little facelift now usually when I mix or edit in logic I don't really add the colors to make it all pretty from the get-go Usually what I do do, and the first thing I always do, is name my tracks, so I know what each track is. So let's go ahead and name some of the tracks. First track will be Kick. Second track will be Snare. Third track will be uh, Low Tom. And you name, from, from there on, you name all your tracks. Now, since you wrote it over here, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's in the region itself, the names on the region. And having the names on the region does help when you are editing or mixing in Logic. So what you should do is always select all the tracks that you renamed, right click on one of the regions, go to name and color, name regions by tracks. This way, it takes whatever you've typed here and places it on top of the region. Now this will help you a lot as you mix in Logic. All right, now to the fun part. Let's start, start adding some colors to Logic's session and make it look pretty like some of my sessions that you have seen. So, um, okay. So usually what you do is you want to group by color or color by group. So let's say this first section, this three tracks is my, uh, my drum section. So I'm going to color it all one color. So again, select all your tracks within that uh, group, which is my drum group. Just go up to colors make sure they're selected and just hit a color and then right away it changes the color of the actual region all right so let's do it again and name a couple more tracks so let's start from here let's see i have a orchestral section so i'm just going to go uh, cellos and a quick way to jump between tracks to rename hit tab and it goes right to the next one just like that cellos violins and violas. So let's say that is my orchestral section and I'm going to recolor that to make it all one color. So again, select all the regions that you want. Oh, actually, let's rename it first. So select all the regions you want. Right click, go to names, name tracks, name regions by tracks, renames it. Now leave it all highlighted and go to colors and let's color this uh, green. Actually, no, we're, we always have green. So let's go to orange. And then now we have colored our orchestral section. Now let's start uh, coloring some markers. All right, so now let's add some markers into our session so we know where the verse is, where the chorus is, and we can find it very quickly as we're editing. So go up here in the top left corner where it says global tracks, hit the arrow down. And under the marker, hit the arrow again. Now, if you don't have this in the list here, just right-click in this gray area over here and go to Configure Global Tracks and make sure your marker, uh, beside marker, the check mark is there. And then it should be in this little area. Now, once you have that marker window open or a little pop-down menu, you have two buttons, Create From Regions. So basically what I do, which is the quickest way for me, is you select one region, hit this from regions it creates a marker for your whole region that you selected and then what I do is just I resize it to the length of 
what the, the length of the marker I actually want. So let's say I'm going to mark my intro. And my intro is only one bar long, so I resize it to one bar. I'm going to rename it. I double click to rename it. I'm going to call it intro. And, and then I'm going to color it. Again, select it, go to colors, and let's do a pink color. <laughs> and that's my intro. So now let's say I want to mark my verse. I'm going to click this, hold down the option key, and drag. Since I know the verse is the next bar, so I put it right next to it. And now I'm just going to resize this to basically how long my verse is. So let's say my verse is four bars. So there it is. I'm going to rename it. Let's call this verse one. And again, let's change the color from pink to something that is easily found. So we'll go to purple. Now let's name my bridge. Let's say my bridge is two bars in before the chorus. Click again. Option drag, resize it to the length of your section, double click to rename, uh, this is bridge one, and change the color, select, go to color, this color, and let's name our chorus finally, our chorus is four bars long, so I'm going to select this, option drag, Resize it to the length of my chorus. Double click. Let's rename it chorus one. And then I'm going to recolor it. Select, go to colors, and orange. And that's how you add some colors to your markers and to your tracks. All right, so now after taking a little bit of time and um, maybe about a minute's time, you have something that looks like this. All your tracks colored, your tracks are all named properly. And, um, and your markers are all laid out. So now you can easily see where and at what time your song changes and what section you're in right now. And um, yeah, and plus a bonus, you made it look pretty. And um, this is what I usually do when I send it out to someone else so they know exactly where everything is, what everything is, as soon as they open it. So uh, keep in mind that. Again, hope you learned something from this tutorial. More tutorials coming soon. They're always coming in, so keep checking back. Remember to subscribe to I'm a Music Mobile channel. And um, check out the website, www.imamusicmobile.com. And I will talk to you later. Peace. Classes now out of session.